how do you cure jellyfish stings? Um, really interesting question because this is, um, it's actually increasing in the UK. So once it's happened, it's happened, all right? Now, most people, the vast majority of people, whilst the sting itself um, will be annoying, most people get stung on their, on their limbs. So when you're swimming around, you touch things with your hands, you kick with your legs, and most people will get stung on their limb. Most people will feel, either feel nothing or feel some irritation, burning pain, and they'll develop a small rash if they develop anything. And for most people, a bit like a sunburn, this will resolve by itself. So how do you cure jellyfish stings? For most people, uh, you cure it, your body cures it by itself. Now for the few unfortunate people, some people develop mild or medium reactions where they develop kind of a skin type burning sensation. And that can often be helped or healed using over-the-counter topical creams, lotions, um, aloe vera lotion, some people use calamine lotion, some people use topical steroid creams that you can often get um, from pharmacies can be really useful, especially if it's a small lesion. Now, I think we have a question in here. I've just seen one about myths and, and myth busters. And obviously everyone has heard about the, the peeing on the jellyfish sting. Everyone's heard about this. Everyone's seen this in movies and, and TVs and everything else. Um, what I'd say is, please don't pee on your jellyfish stings because A, you have to pee on someone who's, who's, who's got a rash. I mean, you're, on, on a, you're on a beach, you're in the water, you're on a boat or whatever. Um, and number two, would it make a difference to it? And it might actually make it worse in some instances. So without going into the long drawn out um, uh, components of different venoms and poisons, um, actually, if it's a different type of venom to the contents of the urine, you might actually make the sting worse, not better. So the current advice, and advice all over the place, um, is please don't pee on your jellyfish sting. So that's the first thing to say. Lots of now first aid kits. So I worked on a, on a dive boat as a rescue diver many years ago now. And we used to have um, lidocaine sprays or lignocaine sprays. So really, really useful for inactivating the nematocysts, that, the, the cells that discharge venom from jellyfish. The other thing to do uh, that I really want to advise people is lots, I've seen lots of patients coming into my clinic who have been stung on their hands after being stung on somewhere like their legs because they tried to wipe the sting off with their hands and obviously they get stung on their hands. So please, 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 if you notice you've been stung somewhere and there's any sort of tentacles left behind, please try and wash them off with seawater, all right? Seawater, really important because if it's fresh water, that can also activate some of the nematocysts. And finally, hot or warm water, not scalding, please don't burn yourselves with the with boiling hot water, but hot water can also help inactivate some of the nematocysts and can relieve some of the pain. So I'd say hot sea water, wash anything off that's there so you don't get stung anymore. And if it becomes nasty, then some topical creams like topical steroids can be really, really useful. Finally, some people can become very sick and you can get serious jellyfish stings around the world. There are lots of places, mainly in warmer countries, where the stings can be quite severe. It's worth, if you're going to one of these places or you live in one of these places, it's worth checking with your local healthcare literature um, and online. Lots of places like Australia, Southern Africa, uh, Southeast Asia have very, very good healthcare uh, advice sites about the type of stings. Some of these can be very serious. And obviously if you're getting a serious reaction, so you're thinking of collapsing, thinking of feeling dizzy, vomiting, your face might swell up, lips swell up, if your throat swells up, your breathing becomes a problem, all these sorts of very significant, it will feel like something's happening, then obviously you need to call your emergency services or see a healthcare uh, professional immediately, all right? Um, so really, really important if you do have a really significant sting and you're unwell that you need to see um, your local healthcare professionals as soon as possible, all right? So I hope that answers your question.